morning dear students in today's class we'll see the next distribution that is exponential in the previous classes we have seen a binomial distribution poisson distribution now the next distribution is exponential so exponential distribution uh, as we have seen in the beginning of our uh, probability distribution the given distribution is divided in two parts one is a direct uh, discrete uh, random way, uh, distribution and uh, another is a continuous distribution so under a discrete distribution binomial distribution and uh, poisson distribution will come and under continuous distribution or in the under conti uh, continuous random variables exponential distribution and one more we have normal distribution will come under these two for our syllabus so today we'll see exponential distribution which will come under continuous continuous distribution means we'll get uh, integration for that means uh, continuous means it has a uh, infinite number of uh, experiments from there we have to going to find the probabilities here the exponential distribution is given by the continuous probability distribution having the probability density function f of x given by f of x is equal to so this is a expression for our exponential distribution that is f of x is equal to alpha e raised to minus alpha x for here this x greater than 0 means positive and if any other if x is negative and all it will come under what here 0 or else if you remember this much f of x is equal to alpha into e raised to minus alpha x for x greater than 0 or x positive is also enough here is known as exponential distribution then as we know the condition of probability density function we have two conditions f of x should be greater than or equal to 0 which means positive and second condition integration from minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx is equal to 1 so we have two conditions and this suppose this uh, two condition if satisfies we can conclude it is a probability density function now second condition i want to check whether it will holds good or no here see i have taken the left hand side integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx is equal to so as we know that we want when x is positive so we know that so on the number line 0 minus infinity plus infinity so we should not take this negative only we have to consider what here positive part so which because x is greater than 0 means what here positive terms so instead of minus infinity to plus infinity so this will be considered as 0 to infinity our f of x is what here alpha e raised to minus alpha x into dx you integrate we know that here alpha is a constant keep outside integration of e raised to minus alpha x dx so integrating e raised to minus alpha x with respect to x will get e raised to minus alpha x divided by differentiation of minus alpha x is what here minus alpha from 0 to infinity so this alpha and alpha get cancelled this minus sign here if you apply upper limit e raised to inf minus infinity or e raised to infinity is always 0 minus lower limit e raised to 0 is 1 so simplification 1 so we can say that our sec second condition is what here hold good for this exponential distribution so here major thing is we need to remember f of x is equal to uh, alpha into e raised to minus alpha for x is positive is very important so this is the expression for exponential distribution okay so with the help of this we'll see what are the what is the mean variance and standard deviation of exponential distribution and we'll see the examples based on this now mean variance and standard deviation of the exponential distribution so no proof directly result you will supposed to remember so mean is given by 1 upon alpha variance is given by 1 upon alpha square and standard deviation is nothing but 1 upon alpha so here you can see that mean and standard deviations are same or equal for 
exponential distribution so with the help of this concept and the expression for exponential distribution we'll see the example